What's up everybody? Welcome to my channel. My name is Katja and I'm a furniture artist. Today we got this gorgeous piece and we're going to give it a beautiful look. This piece is full of beautiful details and when I saw it, I immediately wanted to do a lot of dry brushing and layering. I really love these details and I want to bring them out and give them the attention that they deserve. It's just so gorgeous and I can't wait to start. Before we start painting this piece, all we have to do is give it a good clean and since I will be gilding the hardware, I have to remove it and then uh, get to cleaning. Now for painting, I picked this color palette for this piece and graphite is going to be my base color. Then we got Louis blue that is going to be my main color and we got old white, which is going to be an accent color. When painting with chalk paint, you want to paint in every which direction. That will give you the authentic look of chalk paint. I'm just using a very thin coat. I want just to, for this to be my under color. So now that our first color and base color is completely dry, we can move on and start dry brushing. Dry brushing is when you use a very little paint to create an effect on your furniture. Once you realize how to use it is one of the simplest techniques that people are intimidated of. So this is Louis blue color, one of the prettiest colors I just love this so much. So get a little bit of paint. This is all you want and all you need and unload it. And now you're going to lightly paint this one. Just go over there lightly. I love dry brushing with a new brush. It always feels the best with a new bristle brush. And if you want more solid color, you repeat the process. You don't apply more paint. Inside the drawers, I'm going to try and make more solid. So 
I'm just going to repeat the process. I'm just going to keep on going until I see the solid blue color for the middle and then edges I usually leave in uh, other color, under color, so you can see the contrast. So this effect here, the shading effect, you can only achieve this look with dry brushing. I try glazing, I try dark wax, but not will give you, nothing will give you this beautiful shading around the edges like dry brush will, and I can promise you that I tried everything, but the dry brush is the way to go. For the top, I'm going to paint it and just dry brush around the corners here to keep the effect and the look the same, like the front. But there is no need for me to dry brush the top. And now we're going to dry brush the third color, which is old white. And this is going to be just an accent color. Nothing too much, just to bring out the details more. Now you can see with the third layer how much character this is giving to the piece and you can keep on going even with, even with more colors, you don't have to stop with three, you can just play around and have fun. If you mess up you can just go over with the old color and you will fix the problem. So now that my paint is completely dry, I can move on to another step and that is uh, I will add Redesign with Prima transfers. I will be using a floral cord 
uh, beautiful Victorian uh, looking transfer. Uh, this piece is already beautiful now, but I want to take it to another level and I will be doing that by using these transfers. I will start with this door first. And uh, since this is curved, I wasn't sure how I was, how I was going to uh, put the transfer in there. Then I did some research and find out that uh, from Redesign with Prima brand ambassadors that you can use this zip lock and you can use a Sharpie and mark your uh, bag here. And that will give you a guide how to cut your transfer. I decided to transfer this first over onto the paper. Yeah, I think this is good. So we're going to test it now. And this looks perfect to me. That is so pretty. Ah. This is so pretty and gorgeous and I'm obsessed with this design. It's so, 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 so pretty. I'm so happy with it. I can't wait to see a whole piece done with this, so. You can cut this in between the drawers with a knife, spatula, or anything sharp, but I'm just doing it with my nails and it's working great. I was going to dry brush around here, but you can still see the dark shading behind the transfer, so I'm going to leave as is because I think it looks beautiful already. You can be totally done, it looks amazing, but I'm going to take it one more step further and I'm going to do some stripes on the top drawers uh, with white color, with old white. It's very easy to use, you just use some tape and I will be using this white frog tape. Make sure your lines are straight. So this is going to help me guide my lines. So we're going to take this one off and use it on this side.
I'm actually going to switch directions and I'm going to show you how. I'm going to take this one off. And this one. And I'm going to have three white stripes. I want stripes to be faded. I don't want them to be full coverage. It's going to look better with this, I think. It's going to have more character. So now I'm going to move to this side. We need some more paint. And I'm going very carefully because I don't want to go too deep to the edges. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. This is so gorgeous. One thing that we're missing is some gold hardware. And for that, I will be using vintage gold uh, decor wax by Rizam with Prima. And I'm going to put it directly on my hardware and leave it to dry overnight. The thicker you apply, the longer it's going to take to dry. So I prefer thin coats. And then if you want more, you can apply another coat. And now we're going to protect everything, all this gorgeousness with Annie Sloan Clear Wax and Redesign with Prima Waxing Brush. This is going to deepen your color and make it even prettier. And we are done with this piece. It's so gorgeous, full of details. I love everything about it. I had so much fun creating those layers, dry brushing, applying the transfer. And I imagine this piece in some beautiful dining room, maybe even a living room. I really hope you liked this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up, leave a comment below and subscribe if you haven't already. I will see you next time with a new project and more ideas. Bye guys.